And they sold! Nice. Hello everybody, Amite here, and welcome back to another episode of Road to Max Damage. I have had a very exhausting three days. I won't go into detail. I may be falling a bit ill. I don't know, my throat's getting a little bit, uh, weird. Um, but as I have been completely mistaken, no, I did not have just one month of MVP silver. I, I had three, and this is my last month as MVP silver. So for the last time in a very long while, Mega Pack. Wait a second. Since when this was in the reward point shop? That's actually pretty good. I'm not complaining there. Let's get these cubes. Oh man, I have been waiting for the month to reset for so long. Maple really gave so much, so many. Oh, I still don't know the difference between the two when I'm referring to reward points. But they gave so much reward points. And my meals have been waiting forever to get the last month of reward point cubes to cube for whatever I have that's left, which at the current moment is just my shoulder, so woohoo! I'm still freaking ecstatic over this glove. I just can't. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, but with that though, that's the last uh, opportunity that I get for just free r maple points. Uh, well, besides the endpoint chargers. Did I've used it yet? Yes, I have. Did I use it on the other account? Yes, I have. All right, so why don't we go ahead and uh, actually wait. No, I'm going to do the black cubes here first. I'm going to hold on for the red cubes for a reason. One second. Come on, three line boss attack, some combination of it. Nope. Come on. <gasps> no! Oh, I actually, I would not have wanted that. No, that, that, <laughs> that hurts. I legitimately think if that last line was 10 attack, it actually would be worse than this potential. That's kind of pathetic, actually. <laughs> okay, come on. Two line boss, one line attack. Last cube. Come on. Do it! Ah. So the reason why I said I was going to hold off on the red cubes is because, as I said before, the month turned, and that means all my mule accounts that I've been farming Maple Relay on has their reward points cubes reset. And I still have a shoulder to make, so if they don't get my shoulder to three line strength by the end of all of this, then I can throw the reds onto the shoulder. Because my only other alternatives are probably going to be cubing this black gate ring, not really the superior ring, or I could just start on cubing you know, this hat, which I believe is the only main pot equip that I have to work on besides my shield, which is an actual wonderful feeling. I probably missed a crucial piece of equipment somewhere, but uh, at least it feels like that right now. Okay, let's go get cubing. Alright, so I didn't get it, but I did get that three line <laughs> luck. I think I have the wrong shoulder, honestly. Uh, so I can use the red cubes on this guy. So let's see. <laughs> uh, no. Double prime though. Cool. After equipping my arcane 
night shoes, I've realized that I am incredibly ill-fashioned. And whenever I see my character in a story quest, those horrible purple cleats just show up and blind my eyes. So I'm shoe shopping currently with Robin. <laughs> we have narrowed it down to two shoes, which are these dragon slip-ons and narrow paws. Furry uh, shoes. No, I tried the villain shoes, but uh, they kind of ended up looking like just socks, right? And then yep. uh, the Kerning Engineering School shoes just... it it They looked fine, but I never would actually wear dress shoes. Yeah, so that's probably what I'm going to do, because uh, these are pr at a pretty cheap price. Narrow paws haven't been touched in a while, and then these slip-ons... Uh, oops, hold on. These slip-ons have uh, only been high. So, you know what? For the first time in forever, I'm going to splurge a little bit in some fashion. So, we're going to get both of these for the different outfits that I have, which are just only two. It's not to say that uh, I don't ha have other outfits to do, but uh, I also have that Battleroid shoe. So, these are the Battleroid shoes. This is, uh, I like them, but again, it's not like exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, and then these guys, though. This, this looks pretty decent. I mean... If I didn't tell you they were cat shoes, I don't think you'd know. And then, uh, these guys. These these look pretty cool. I didn't even realize they were golden at the bottom. Hmm, it's currently 30% off. And I kind of want to play a stupid game with my sword. Because I said it was 20 stars and I was gonna keep it but would be cool to get it to 22 the question is am I gonna blow it up so I thought let's try just a couple not too many tries because if you try enough it'll eventually boom or you know it'll boom on the first try uh so oh I don't know 7% is not nice to look at, but I'm willing to give it three tries. Three tries, and if it doesn't blow up... Okay. Then I'll stop. Don't blow up, please. Okay. And if it fails one more time... Oh. Well, we see the 22. Don't blow up. Okay. Well, uh... Hmm. Uh, let's go a little bit more. I'm gonna regret this. This is gonna blow up, isn't it? Oh, boy. Ah, darn. It did blow up. It's okay. I bought a uh, replacement because of this. It's 30% off, so I figured, you know, might as well just have some fun with it. Oof. It blew up already. Again. At 15 to 16. Ah. I knew I should have stopped, but I got really greedy. I do have one sword in the auction house, um, but that's all I have. And I'm gonna treat it as if, like, I'm the one who bought it. Uh, because this is technically my hard boss parties. So I will have to deduct this uh, and report this as a sale. But in the meantime, though, uh, maybe it's time to go back into uh, 17 star, star zone. No matter what, I don't think I'm going to spend money on safeguarding it. So if it blows up again, then, uh, well, I'm not going to have a training sword for a while. Uh... If it doesn't, and it gets back to, say, 17, that would be nice. Uh, but yeah, that's just really unfortunate. Alright, come on. Take me home. 17 stars. Okay, there we go. So, uh, net loss. Oh, about 30 attack. 39 strength or something like that. I, I don't remember the exact numbers, so... 
That sucks. I crafted a bunch more flames. Okay, come on. Three, nope. Three liner. Oh, that's ugly. Oh, ah, oh, darn it. Fuck. 16 dex and int and four all stat. Damn. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, geez, these are such low lines. It's so awful. Nope. RNG in its finest. <laughs> yep. Ah, three all stat. Yeah. I can't believe it. I am actually, finally, not that I'm happy about it, out of CRA medals. This has been a crazy couple of months with MVP Silver. I have been trying to be as proactive as possible with selling stuff. I've been just trying to maximize my 30 slots and since I've been busy I've been using whatever I had stored in here and I was doing my CRA and finally I'm out. I'm actually legitimately out. So this is my last month as MVP Silver. So I'm gonna try and make the most out of it but that also means that I have to think about stockpiling up on random items just so that I can continuously have all 30 slots filled out which might not be fun. I'm a little bit worried about the idea. Another thing that I've been uh, reconsidering because I did say that I messed up with it is uh, the whole droplet situation. I think what I am going to do is I'm going to start looking into the auction house and seeing if I there's any cheap arcane droplets that I can pick up. So like for example, if I just look at the history here, I can see that some of them got sold for 200 mil, 190 mil. So maybe like if some prices like that show up that I'm going to buy them. Uh, I, f I should have, well, it doesn't matter because uh, I sold the origin droplets for like 288 mil. So technically if I buy them back, then that's not so bad. It's still technically make profit or like on uh, above green or in the zero. So, but the idea is I'm trying to centralize a lot of the stuff. So I think I'm going to focus on probably arcane river droplets for eventually stockpiling them up for the changes that are coming and grabbing uh, backup um, arcane gear for Star Force thing. It's going to be a huge project, but uh, that's basically my uh, change of plans. I swear, I must be like the master of the most unfortunate of timings. Adele's on the way out and uh, Philosopher books are out and every single piece of arcane warrior e equipment that i've seen got sold or bought has been snatched away by whales who are willing to pay with real money and i'm just like please someone just sell vessels for me and i was really hoping that since uh, today is uh 30% off star force that like i was gonna see at least one or two pieces somewhere no, <laughs> just no, it's been so hard. I think honestly, the best thing that I can do as of right now, and I hate saying that because I know by the time that this video is out, my strategy probably will change because something's different now, but I think I actually have to get droplets and just hold on to them until the change. That's probably my best bet. The only thing I have going for me right now is that I've been very vigilant and no matter how exhausting I have been throughout the week, no matter how crazy work has been, no matter how much non-maple stuff was in my way, I still do all my dojo meals every single week and I'm going to keep doing it until the dojo revamp happens and then I'm hoping that will be a huge boost in my meso stash and I'm going to splurge it all onto my arcanes or whatever is it that I need. Again, I'm anticipating I need a lot of NX to fix the B pot on these two uh, equips and then the main pot for this guy and the main pot for this. I might do this hat with violets actually, I don't know. But again, I'm thinking very, very far in the future. I need to think of my game plan constantly just because it's not fun to not be 
on top of things. I really should take a break though, because like I'm extremely, I'm feeling really extremely burnt out and I managed to do quite a lot of stuff within the past couple of months, especially with the flaming and my gloves and all the bee potting and stuff like that uh, with my arcane. So it's been wonderful. And then I got my sword to 22, which was a huge thing. But it's just like, I can't rest yet. I can't rest yet. It, it's not over. I still got to keep going. Well, uh, so yeah, I don't know. Enter Khalifa. Khalifa has 48 droplets for me right now. We agreed it's 220 mil a piece, so that's 10.56 bill. I'm gonna buy all of them. Now, the question begs now, how many droplets do I have to save for three items? If it's 108 droplets per equip, and I need... Oh, I don't want to do eight backups on each. That's way too much. I think that's really excessive and unnecessary. But the more I get, the better it will be overall. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's just say four for now. So four times three is 12. So 108 times 12. I'm going to need 1,296 droplets for all three equips. Multiply that by, say... 220 mil a droplet. Ooh. How many droplets do I have currently? If it's... I have enough to buy 14 equips exactly. Uh, I mean, that's a fair amount. That's like three backups each if it's evenly distributed. Plus two extra somewhere, two remainder. And I guess the bright side of it is that since they're in droplet form, I can turn them into any equip I want. So I can adjust accordingly if uh, my luck goes south or goes good. Oh, I need to make a lot of money. Wait, hold on. There's one more thing to consider as well, and that's price depreciation. B because GMS, especially Scania, has a less... Uh, population or a lower population in KMS in general, then that would mean that prices could maybe possibly lower faster. Is it possible that after the droplet changes that all the whales who haven't 22 start their items if there are any left? Well, th no, that should not be the question. The question should be that is there going to be an increased demand for droplets after the change? My guess is yes, because there's people that would want their equips clean and all that as well. It's not just for backups. Oh, my head hurts. I don't want to think about doing this. I don't want to spend the time doing this. I want to work on other things. Oh, this is going to be such a huge conflict for me inside the game and outside. How much time do I want to dedicate to making Meso? Apart from doing dailies and shit like that. I should be working on music related stuff. I only recently just started getting like a lot more things going too. I have to find a balance between the two. I can't just throw everything at Maple. But I need all that me- Us. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay. I'm just gonna take a break. Uh, and Oh yeah, and then I still have to edit videos too. Oh. God damn it. <sighs> okay, it's back to 17 now. So a thing I don't usually do is sell node stones because uh, I just hoard them for no apparent reason. But given the circumstances right now, I say that maybe I can just open, you know, say a little bit of node stones and put them up in the auction house. I think that will be a good supplement of uh, mesos for the time being while I do other things. The usual reason why I hold my node stones is because I just assume that there's like new skills coming out and I just want to be able to max it out on day one. But having this abundance of node stones sitting here is just basically the next thing that I'm going to dismantle figuratively and literally uh, in order to make mesos from having stuff kept in my stash. So I am going to see how many node stones I can craft off of these 63 I opened. Hopefully I don't dismantle uh, one of my level 25s. 
Okay, I'm good. So it takes 35 to craft the single node stone. That's not bad, actually. Let's see how many I can get out of this. Oh no, there's no faster way to do this, is there? All right, so I opened 63. Let's see how many I have. 30. Oh, so the rate of account bound to tradable node stones is like half, kind of. Yuck, that's... At least 30 is a nice number, though. Let's see how much is a single node stone. 38? Okay. That's not a bad amount, to be honest. I should really do more. Well, frankly, I should just train, for that matter, and just farm a whole bunch of node stones. That way I can make a good amount of money. This is 1.1 bill? Oh man, I've been missing out, actually. <laughs> Oh, nice. We read it. Yay, we did it. We got it for 900. 900 memory trips, and we are going to get the glitch damage skin. Woo hoo hoo. Let's go. Oh, this is transferable within world. Now I'm tempted to give it to someone else now. Nah, I'm going to give it to myself. Okay. First things first before I forget save, store it. Thank you very much. And let's go test this out. Ooh. That looks good. That actually looks nice. Doesn't fit my aesthetic right now, but if I was a little bit more steampunky or androidy type of look, that would be another thing I could do. Sick! All right, 9669, nice. Five, four, three, two, one. And that's it. We're done. Whew. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Hey look, I got a prot from an elite monster. Okay, this will be the second explorer mage done within 24 hours. Uh, I, <coughs> excuse me, had to take a sick day off because I'm not feeling too well. But I was well enough to, you know, be on my computer, so I guess that's a catch-22. Finally caught up on some videos I wanted to watch, like uh, Necro v Necro Vita's uh, sub one hour Mario Odyssey speedrun. That was freaking insane. Uh, watched a bit more uh, production tutorials from uh, Virtual Ride and Barely Alive. Good stuff. I really gotta focus on that sometime. But anyways, that's enough of that. Whew. 185 to 200 in 1 hour 24 minutes, that's alright. I think the bishop was faster though, simply because of HS. Fennec Fox is being of good use, and uh, that's all I have to say about uh, the process, really. Another round of this flame box. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Will I get it? Oh, I'm excited. I'm actually really excited to get it. Come on. Strength and all stat. Oh, sorry. Give me 60 strength and 5 all stat. That's not 60 strength and 5 all stat, but I'll forgive you. Uh huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Oh, okay, that was just weird. Nope. Nope, one liner. Oh, oh, ah! Oh. Again, baited. Would I even want this? If it was strength? Probably, like, barely. Ah! Oh. Not this week. I do have a spare flame in here, though. Let's see. This got crafted. Ah, 24 and 2. Feels bad. Droplets! Quick, before it expires! Oh, phew. I, I don't think I could do it, though. It's just simply, I don't have the time to. I mean, I'm trying out D&D kind of for the first time. And... Level 200. Yes. I am done. Nice. <sighs> Thank fucking God. Thing is, Hello, good you... sir. I wish to purchase a special pendant from you. 
Oh, hello, good sir. I seem to have one on sale. <laughs> hello, I thank you very much. It's almost as if we have predetermined this outcome, and we have predetermined this amount for the said out item. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Awesome, pleasure doing business with you, good sir. Uh, well, goodbye. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> He's a speaker than the guard. Dude, I was supposed to leave, not you. God I, damn it, dude. I went to the cash shop. <laughs> oh, okay. So I am buying an extender. I guess I will pay with maple points. And I will buy three of these immediately so that I don't have to worry about it for almost a year. And then when the day approaches, I'll just have to have another. 3,900 meaningful points because now that all my meals are done, minus the upcoming Adele, I will be training my main and having this pendant would be pretty nice and I don't have to wait for fairy rose or events for this stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, cool. Then we will drop it here. So now it's May 21st. Now it's August 28th. And now, finally, it's December 5th. So as soon as December hits, I will remind myself to get more extenders then. Cool. All right. I have a whole bunch of flames again and running out of materials. So uh, going to have to restock, if anything. But let's put throw all these inside all right let's see let's see how things will go so pendants over here still 24 decks and two attack again we're looking for 50 strength ish well 48 i will also take um 44 anything above 40 strength is good for me so we'll have to see First one, 12 strength and 4 jump. Could have been 4 all stat. Feels bad. 16, 2. 8 across. Hybrid. Single 16. Jump 3. Okay. 32 decks. So that's the highest flat strength I've seen so far. I mean, uh, flat stat. 24. Oh, man. I, I hate flaming non-boss items. 24. Come on. 16 strength, 4 all stat. Ooh, 32. So that matches 4% strength, but not 4% all stat. So that's good, but not good enough. So we want something better. Single, negative level, uh, low level requirement. Nope. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that's a three or four liner. Ah. Could have been good. And we're kind of back to where we started. Just slightly better than before. I wonder. Uh, eternal. 70 mil for one of them. Mm. So let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's do 350 mil just for now. I have an idea. Let's go to uh, the Labyrinth of Suffering because why not? Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll have to go back to. Well, maybe I could wait for next week. Uh, or I could just, you know, craft some more, get more materials. But not when Grand Spell Essences are that much. So we'll have to see. Oh my god, a single tier 3 required level reduction flame again. 32 strength again, and uh, that line could have been all stat, and I would have been pretty decently happy. I forgot what, how much is 900 as a tier, though. 3 all stat and 16 luck. Oh, uh, 
if that was strength, if that would have been a keeper. I think. I I think. It should be, right? Yes? 3 times 8 is 24 plus 16. That would be 40. So that would be like the bare minimum. 28. Ah. And finally, 40 luck. Ah. Okay. Well, guess we have to keep going then. Yeah, I was reconsidering the flame on this earring, but I I knew that like I would definitely regret it, especially going through like this last pendant. So these flames are pretty much settled for sure. Holy shit, I was recording this entire time with my mic muted. I was playing Smash, like, the night before, and I muted my mic and I forgot to unmute it. Oh my god. I was talking for 20 minutes explaining this entire trade, and I freaking lost it all. So to summarize it quickly, I bought a new pair of arcane shoes. Uh, I was talking about how, again, um, the best idea was to hoard arcane droplet stones uh, to get the most value out of them but at the same time there's a thing called supply and currently the supply of arcane droplet stones have uh, shrunk so much that the prices have gone up so normally uh, when I last time I checked these things were around 220 mil so if I multiplied that by 160 that would have made the price 38 bill or something like that but then if I multiplied it by 108 which is the amount that you're going to pay for it in droplets for phantasma coins and then into uh arcane eclipse and it would have been 24 bill or 28 bill i can't remember i'm not going to do the math again because i'm angry now so basically um i'm i'm trying to find a good balance between buying uh equips while they're at that price outright for and uh buying droplets to hoard for the changes so my criteria is that i'll only buy arcane equipment if it's cheap enough to warrant the droplet changes but at the same time i'll buy droplets expensive or uh as cheap uh, and cheap enough if it will over um not compensate i for, i don't know the word i'm looking for right now but i just want to keep talking uh to cover this this new change and make the most value out of uh these changes so I'll, it's a fine balance and i'm still trying to find a good ba uh balance between the two and then uh yeah, it's gonna be take a bit of trial and error. So that was an interesting tidbit. So I offered 30 bill originally, but because I was a little bit lazy on getting out of bed because I didn't want to sacrifice my health, uh, I offered him 30 bill along uh, like about a day ago, 18 hours or so. And he said he was willing to take it if I covered tax or what. No, sorry, he asked me if I covered tax, and I said just sure because like getting uh, an arcane warrior gear for 30 bill right now. And I emphasize right now. So because I was slow, I didn't want to get uh, out of bed at th past 3 a.m. in the morning just to do this trade because I swore to myself that I would never do something like that ever again for Maple Story. Uh, and then I w slept a good eight hours, and I'm very well rested and energized. But because I took a bit too long to get out of bed, someone offered 31 bill, and they covered tax. And I was very worried that we were going to start a bidding war until. Um, someone just outright does like an auto win price which I will definitely uh, drop out of because of the circumstances that I mentioned before but luckily enough I just wanted to secure uh, the boot I decided to raise it to 33 bill so I raised a, an extra two bill and then uh what was it? And and then the guy was nice enough to not consider a counter offer to the other guy. Um, so he sold it to me, but at the expense of an extra three bill for me. So 10 minutes, an extra 10 minutes in bed costed me three bill. <laughs> I'm starting my collection. I'm trying to find the most value out of it that I can without being too big of a cheapskate. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to... Uh, 
growing my collection and hoping that I won't need any of it uh, when I start Force, because I will boom none of my arcane equips. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>